Hey everyone, this is Josh with the Bust Button back with another video. I hope you guys enjoyed our flea market trip this last weekend. Uh, please leave a comment and let us know if you like that comment or not. Today is going to be another lunch break edition video. I go to this Goodwill right behind me every day during my lunch break. And I do this so you guys can know exactly what we find to resell. So let's get in here and see what we find. Button. Crocs for 16, almost 16 bucks for them. They're new with tags, tie dye. It's like 500% sell through. I think I can probably get 40 for them, but I don't know. I, don't, I think I'm gonna leave them for for 16 bucks. But that would have been a good deal. It'd been just a little bit cheaper. We'll keep going. So I was looking at the hats and I came across this uh, this hat. They want $3.99 for it. It's almost 100% sell through. And it's vintage ML Studio. I'll show you what the prices are. So there's one for 45, 60, 45, 30. And this is a really, really cool print, really cool colorway. So I'm definitely going to put that in the cart. And then I was looking again up at the hat rack up here. They keep all their hats up there. And I found this one. It is brand gospel. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not, but anyway, I'm gonna look it up with you guys. Let's see. And I just type in um, the name of the hat and then put ladies hat. That one didn't come up. USPO. Yeah, that wouldn't come up, so I'm gonna put this one back because it's not as great as the other one anyway. But anyway, that other one was a good find, so keep going. So I went over to the new new racks over there. I came to the other Goodwill on the other side of town, by the way, because I didn't find anything during, during the lunch break but one item, so I wanted to fill out a video. But I found this Ariat Pro Series shirt. Pro Series does really, really well. That's probably a $30 shirt. So I want to check it over. Make sure that there's no, no holes, no stains, so I'll get that one. And I found this cinch shirt it looks like it's in a really good condition also I'm paying seven dollars that's a 24 dollars shirt nice color not too wrinkled so i won't have to do any work i'll probably just list it just like that so that's a good one and then i found this green bay packers uh, it's a little bit older i believe it's not made in the usa but i'm paying seven dollars for it and it's in really nice condition and I think it's going to do okay, so I'm going to get that. But we're moving on. See what else we can find. So there were several of these in here the other day. Just found another one. Robert Graham. It's like a $32 shirt. $30 shirt. And seven. I think one I got out of here the other day 
sold it for like 50 or 60 bucks, something like that. This one looks like all the buttons are there, no holes. So that's a buy for sure. And the cart. Okay, everyone, we are back at the HQ. And uh, today I went did a lunch break video, as you guys know, if you saw the uh, intro to the video. But I also ran over to the other side of town, to the other Goodwill, because I just didn't find much at the, the first Goodwill. You know, and that happens, guys. You're, you're not gonna go to these Goodwills every day, or a thrift store, or garage sale, and just find that amazing item every day. You know, sometimes this is a uh, this is a grind. It's it's an everyday thing. You're going out and trying to find things, and you're just not going to find that sixty, seventy, eighty dollar item uh, every day. But you still got to find things to to list and sell. So your bread and butter items uh, come into play pretty quickly. But let me show you what we got today. So I picked up this hat. If y'all saw on some of my other uh, videos, some recent videos, I picked up a couple of these vintage hats and there's another one there. This one is ML Studio. I don't know if you can see that, ML Studio. But it's vintage. I looked it up. I paid $4 for it. It's crazy looking. But I saw comps all the way up to 60. Anywhere from like 30 to 60. So this thing, this thing will sell. And sometimes hats like this will sit for a while but the right person will come along and buy it. If you don't mind letting it sit for a little bit, just, just list it and see what happens. So the next thing we got is, and I talked about this during the video, Ariat Pro Series is a very good brand. Ariat is a good brand by itself, but this subcategory of Pro Series just sells like crazy. So this thing probably won't last very long when we list it. I mean, I paid $7 for it, I bet I get 32, anywhere from 35 to 30 dollars for this shirt. Nice color. So got that one. The Green Bay Packers. So this is not super old, but it's definitely older. And it was in awesome condition. And it was sleeveless. It's summertime. I paid seven dollars for this. I'm probably gonna list it for 25. And just so you guys know, I paid $38 for everything. I think $38 for everything or $40 for everything here today about that. So the other day I went into the same Goodwill and there were about three of these shirts there. I've already sold one for a decent amount of money. This is an awesome color. It's a Robert Graham shirt. There's the tag. I paid seven for that and I'll probably list it for 30 bucks. Take no less than 25. And another uh, good brand, gonna hit all the Western brands today. So this Cinch brand is a bread and butter item for us. It sells very well. This is a nice color, no problems with it. So that's probably a $25 shirt. But hey guys, we, we know we appreciate you watching us. We're getting uh, more and more subscribers every day. And we love doing these videos for you. We love showing you what, we, what we're finding. Please in the comments, if there's something y'all want us to do, another type of video or just whatever, just shoot us a comment about how things are going with your uh, reselling right now. You know, are your sales slowing down? Are you hitting the summer slump? But just let us know. But thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next video.